Hi, this is Kelly from Peteca Kelly and Play Learn Talk, and in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to recreate this exact puzzle. So I have it on Boom Learning, and I'm going to be linking it below so that you can download it for free and either use it with your students or use it to actually recreate this with me. Now, the pumpkin clip art that you see here that makes up the puzzle, uh, the exact puzzle pieces, if you would like to use those, you can just leave a comment below or send me a message and I will send it over to you via email, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and show you or demonstrate how this puzzle works and then we're going to go into the workstation together and we are going to recreate this. It's a little bit complicated, um, but if you save the video and reference it you know, as you're making it, I think you'll be able to um, successfully duplicate this activity, okay? So what we have here, I'll just describe the framework of the page. We obviously have our big grid that is our puzzle grid, okay? Now I have numbered it so that students, if you're using this during distance learning, students can tell you where they think the piece should go. So you're going to be doing it one at a time, okay? So um, that's just to make it easier on the user with their students. Now one piece at a time appears because I have layered them all underneath each other, okay? So your student will be able to drag one piece to any spot they want, okay? They can put it here, which is actually where I think it goes, right? If we zoom in here, you can see that we have one eye here and two eyes here. So I like to have this picture here so your students can reference it. Um, so, you know, I recommend including that if, you, if you'd like to use it. So here we have one eye, we have two eyes here, that looks like the correct piece. We could choose to check it right now, and that is correct, right? And it lets us know that we're missing all these other pieces. Or you can hit the submit button at the very end. So what we're going to be doing together is recreating this by creating drop zones. So each picture is going to be assigned to a drop zone. And let's see, oh, that one goes together actually. Okay, so we're gonna put them together. Uh, do, 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 do. I'll put this one right here, and this one goes here, and this one goes here. So let's go ahead and double check it. And we got all of the pieces. Okay, so let's go into the workstation and see how we do this. All right, so here is my Oh, let me see. Let me show you just a plain one. Um, here's just the background itself, right, that I've imported. And what we're going to do is we are going to make three copies of it, and we are going to make one have all the drop zones, okay, and we're going to make another one have all the pieces on top, and then this one is going to be our actual, like, working page. So later we're going to delete these because we're just using them to make things easy on us right now, okay? So let's do this together. So we're going to go ahead and do new card from images. We're gonna actually import the background itself. So that's right here. Okay, so we have that one. Oh, so now we wanna go grab our pictures, okay. So we're just gonna grab one of them and we wanna size it down first, okay? All right, I'm not going to talk too much on this part, so you can really watch what I'm doing, okay? So I'm, you know, uh, sizing it down. That's not where that one goes. That one goes down here, but that's okay. We just want to make sure that it's fully in that grid, okay? So now what we're going to do is we're going to duplicate it, and we're going to carefully place it right next to that pumpkin, okay? And we're going to duplicate that again and place that one there. Okay. So those look good. There's a little spaces in between, but that's okay. We're going for a puzzle look. So now we're going to hold command down on the keyboard and we're going to click on all three and then we're going to do command C and that should make it so that we can do command V. It did. Okay. So we're going to bring these down here and it looks like we have to move them all up. So if you want to move all at one time, just simply click on all of them. Okay. So that looks good. So um, we already have it attached to our mouse, those three, so we're just going to do Command V again, okay? And then we're going to put those in place. Okay, and our first step is done, okay? So the first step is basically sizing your, your um, puzzle piece down, okay, and then putting it in that spot. Now, we can go ahead and make all of them draggable now so we don't forget to do it later. So I'm simply clicking on all of them by holding down the Command key on my keyboard and clicking on all of them. So let's make all of them draggable, okay? So that is done too. 
Um, let's come over to um, another slide. I should have duplicated this before I did that, but that's okay. We can just um, do a new image. We're going to get that background again. Oh, there it is. Okay. All right, so we have it there. So now what we want to do is we want to make drop zones for all of them. Okay, so we're going to do a very similar process where we just want to make sure that that entire square is covered. Okay, and we are going to duplicate it. Like that, we'll duplicate again. And then just like last time, we're going to duplicate all three of those at once. So we're going to check that we like the spacing on all of them. Hold Command down and click on all three and do Command C, Command V. And we're going to put those down. Let's see. Okay, that looks good. Okay. And then we will do Command V again. Okay. Um, all right. So now what we're going to do is we're going to make all of them drop zones. Okay, so we're going to make all of them drop zones. Done. Okay, so now on this one, our next step is we need to change the pictures so that they're actually these pictures, right? So we are going to take a close look at this one, and we're going to double click on it. And then I've already imported all the images. Okay, so I think this is the one that we want to grab. And we're going to double check it. It is not that one. So... It's this one right here. Okay, so we'll double check it. Okay, this one right here, I think is gonna be this one. Yes, okay. <laughs> All right, and this one right here is gonna be this one, I believe. All right, this one. It's a little bit of like a puzzle doing it yourself, huh? <laughs> okay, this one's gonna have the pumpkin with its mouth open on the right side. This one has to complete it. So it's that one right there. This one, I think it's that one, yep. And that one goes there, and this one is, oh guys, I can't see it. <laughs> I think it's this one. Yeah, okay, so this is our puzzle, right? Everything looks good. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we want to actually um, assign drop zones to these. So we're gonna take any piece that we want. Um, actually, I'm gonna recommend that you duplicate this page. Okay, in case you mess up, right? We'll just duplicate it. So we'll move that one back over here as our spare. You can delete it later. Okay, so now we're just going to grab one of our pieces and we're going to move it over to the box that says, where does this go? Okay, so we know this one needs to go in box three. So we're going to come over to the page that has our drop zones and we're actually just going to take this and delete it. We're going to copy it and then delete it. Okay, and come back to this page and do command B. So now we have our drop zone. So now we're going to go like this. We're going to assign our drop zone just like that. Okay, so we're going to go through this entire process. So now I'm going to drag uh, this one over to this area because it's going to get a little complicated if I try to do it in this spot because it's layering here. So now we need to get drop zone number two. Okay, and the reason we're deleting them is so that we know that we've done them. Okay, so we're just going to do Command V, and then here we're going to carefully make sure it goes over to this one, and then we're going to carefully bring it down here to be in this black box. Okay, so let's grab this one, and we know it's number seven, so let's go over and grab number seven, delete it, paste it down, and move this one over here. Okay, it's attached. We can see that it's attached by that line, right? Um, okay, so now let's do this one. I'm doing them really randomly, right? Because I want it to be um, fun for the students. I don't want it just to be all in one order. Okay, so let's go grab four, command C, delete it, and come over here, command V. Okay, we're going to assign it, and we're going to hide it in the pile. Okay, so let's grab number nine. We're going to put it up top. And we're going to Command C and delete, Command V, assign it to be draggable, move it down. All right. I hope you're doing this along with me. Okay, so um, let's grab this one. Okay, we're going to move it over here. We need number five. All right. Oh, I keep going back to that page. Command V. Okay. There we go. Okay, so we're almost done. 
Okay, so let's do number one this time. Let's go grab number one, command C, delete it, and command V. Now we're going to assign it. Oops, go ahead and assign it there, hide it, and just two more, you guys. We need number eight. Oops, number eight, and command V. And then here we're going to assign it again. Drag it down, and our very last one, we're going to drag it up and put it right there, and grab number six, and command V. And just about now, yeah, the, the card's like, this is too much, so that's the max I can put on there. Um, okay, so we're going to delete this page. We don't need it, right? And then you can delete these other ones, but this is your game card, so let's go ahead and preview it, and we'll just see if it works, okay? I'm not going to put the whole puzzle together again, but we'll just see if we have um, the accuracy correct on it. Okay, so put this one over here. Okay, so all of our pieces are staying. Okay, let's hit submit. <laughs> all of those are wrong. Okay, so at least we know that it's working though. So that is the puzzle piece game. So once again, if you would like to um, use this exact clipboard, just leave a comment below or send me an email if you already have my email. Um, or you can find me on Instagram at Petsica Kelly. And um, you can find this exact game at Play, Learn, Talk on Boom Learning. So I'll link everything below. But if you just want to use this with your students, you know, um, before you learn to make it, you're welcome to do that. And also use it, you know, as you're recreating it. All right. I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial, that it was helpful for you. Um, please give it a like and please share it with other people, other creators who would find it useful. All right. Until the next video.